Okay, Market Cities here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about front lawn rules, regulations that are enacted by cities. So, um, for those who aren't familiar, cities can have zoning laws which dictate what you can and can't do with your property. And one such law that exists in Tallahassee and in other cities is a 15, in Tallahassee it's 15 feet minimum front lawn size. So your house has to be set back 15 feet from the curb and I'm gonna get into what that looks like okay so this is Levy Park in Tallahassee which is very close to the action and let me just show that real quick here's Levy Park where I have my start point the end point is downtown and there's also like a, a midtown area in Tallahassee which is extremely close to a seven minute bike ride where you can go hang out get drinks, um, go to restaurants, whatever, and it's kind of walkable a little bit. Um, anyways, so despite the fact that this neighborhood is extremely convenient to other parts of Tallahassee, it's kind of, it looks very suburban, right? And so part of this suburban feature, and now this, this house does not look 15 feet back to me. Maybe just barely, but that looks like it might be a 10 or 8 foot setback. And so this zoning law could be on the newer side, right? So it didn't necessarily exist when all these houses were built. Um, I think this is a relatively older neighborhood in Tallahassee. But the front lawn, you know, is kind of like dead space that can't really be used for much do you ever see people hang out on their front lawn i, I don't really if, if they're in their front lawn they're mowing the grass and that's about it so the backyard is kind of like where all the the fun happens you know it's where you play wiffle ball with your kid that's where you i don't know play croquet but in tallahassee you have this 15 foot front lawn rule which kind of serves to destroy the amount of usable space you have in the backyard. So here this guy's turned his backyard into basically a driveway and he's got a structure back here. And then his front yard is just empty space. Um, a lot of parking ends up taking place in the front lawn, right? So if you can't use it for anything else, just park your car there, which also serves to pull cars off the street which some people may think is a good thing. I would argue that having your car parked on the street is actually better because it serves to slow down traffic in your neighborhood, right? So if you're driving on a street with a lot of cars parked on either side, you're going to drive slower, you're going to be more careful. That helps your neighborhood by making it safer for people to walk on if the cars are moving slower. But if you have these huge front lawns, you got plenty of space to park. So why not just park in front of the house? All right, so this guy's got some stuff going on in front of his yard, right? He's got some gardening, landscaping. He's clearly spending some time out there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like with newer development. Okay, so here is a townhouse that is built in this Levy Park area. You can see it's price this is pretty high for Tallahassee I'm not sure what the median home price is in Tallahassee but I think it's around 180,000 so this is like a luxury unit and you can kind of see that in the pictures here looks pretty nice still got carpet in the bedroom but otherwise it looks like it's pretty well done and I have the street view pulled up this is the same area same neighborhood let's see which one is it it's this one okay so this is the unit that's for sale. You have a big front yard that is basically ornamental, right? You're not gonna do anything out here except for take care of your plants. Um, looks like these people have fenced in their yards. I, I suspect they still don't do anything in those yards. Yeah, I mean, they're just too small and there's no privacy in the front yard, right? I mean, generally backyards are more private. Um, it looks like they are set slightly further forward, though, than this previously existing home, which is good, I suppose. And now I'm going to take you around the back. This is the same development from the back. You can see the backyard just serves as parking. And now I can say many municipalities 
require developers to have space set aside for parking and especially if they're doing some kind of dense development like these townhouses which you know they're not I don't even know if you can call them a townhouse right because they're not connected they're, they're single family homes they're not like they're not that dense really I mean compared to like a apartment complex or something but you know maybe some of these are apartments although it, I don't see any stairwells on the side or anything so they're probably just single family homes certainly the listing here looks like it is being sold as a single family home um but yeah they probably have parking requirements right and so they've been forced to put turn the the backyard into this driveway that can basically only be used to park cars and here you see somebody's even parking their car on the grass instead of the concrete so you pay 350,000 you have no usable yard space at all right now imagine and look I think this sidewalk is mm, maybe it's not brand new this sidewalk looks older but imagine if these townhouses, right, instead of being set back 15, however many feet they're set back, you know, it looks like it might even be more than 15. If they had been right on the curb here and there had been no zoning requiring them to turn their backyard into a driveway, right? Because look at all this on-street parking. There's plenty for the, how many homes do you have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you have six cars, maybe you know maximum 12 you could you could fit all those on this uh right on this front i don't know what you call this 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 side street right and you don't need any parking at all in the back and by doing that you're going to attract people who probably only have one car right because if you need two cars then you, you might not buy here but there's plenty of people who have who live alone and can deal with the restriction of having only one car. And also with this neighborhood being so close to town, right? I mean, here's the neighborhood. Actually, we're on Duval Street, so even a little bit closer. Well, I don't I don't know how the, the bike ride goes up when you get closer, but anyways, you're about eight minute bike ride from all the jobs, all the state jobs in town. I mean, not all of them, but a lot of them downtown, as well as being just a two, two, four minute bike ride from this other job center. And, uh, you know, there's jobs, up, I, nobody would want to ride their bike up here and I'll show that in another video probably, but you're only seven, eight minutes from all these other jobs up here. Although these are probably low paying, you're not gonna be able to afford a $350,000 house. But, you know, probably if you, if you buy at this location, you probably live downtown. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't want to make the space sacrifice. But if they had not turned the backyards into parking lots, you could have these these houses right up on the curb, right? And this would break the law in Tallahassee. Not, it's illegal to put the houses this close to the curb. But you have to have these pointless front yards. But then, if you could do that, you would have a huge backyard back here. You know, the the individual yards could be fenced in because you wouldn't need to drive cars back here. And people that have their own little private space, right? Where they could, I don't know, sit out and have a beer to grill instead of having to grill up on these uh, front decks or whatever, where you can only fit, you know, a couple people. But that's against the law in Tallahassee, and that's against the law in a lot of other cities. So it's just kind of a problem that cities create. And I guess there's there's two issues here, right? There's the the front the frontage regulation where the house has to be set 15 feet back and I don't know if it's from the sidewalk or the street in this case it certainly looks like they're at least 15 feet back from the sidewalk here um, and then the second issue is requiring developers to build parking which is like a, a huge topic that I might get into another video but here it's kind of served to destroy any usable outside space for these homes and the, the homeowners who choose to live here and so we'll see i mean i we probably won't see because i'm not going to follow this if they're ever able to sell this house for 355 i don't know i'm skeptical that they will be able to but maybe if they'd had that big backyard 
that they could have had without these regulations, it, it would be a more attractive choice and people would want to live there. I mean, and you know, people are buying it regardless, but that doesn't mean that they're getting the best property that they could have, that they wouldn't have preferred a backyard and to park on the street. But, you know, the cold, dead hand of government just simply will not allow it in this case.